again, Latin, matter of fact, it was a week ago tonight, I, I saw Judas Priest, Saxon, and Black Star Riders sold out in Detroit. I was so proud. And you know what? There was a ton of young kids there, and they were buying t-shirts and loving it. And I think the kids maybe feel what you're saying, like, you know what? We better get on to this before it's gone. I don't know if they can verbalize it. I think that's what's happening. Well, Priest is 65 years old, 70 years old. Saxon's 85 years old. <laughs> the Rolling Stones are 90 years old. I mean, the Stones fans are so old, they don't clap they're afraid the lights are going on in the room. <laughs> so, you know, watching Keith and Woody trying to play guitar is like being driven in a tour bus by Jose Feliciano and Ray Charles without a GPS. It's a terrifying fucking experience. And, you know, if the Stones were smart, they had hired two 25-year-old guys from Nashville who know how to play the song parts and let these two cadavers walk around stage and fucking act like Johnny Depp and fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. They can't fucking play. And it bothers me that they charge $800. At least when you go to see the Eagles, there's 45 guys on stage because you want the album to sound like the Eagles. And you go see Robin Waters, there's 45 guys on stage because you want to hear what the wall sounds like. But the Stones insist that you watch them decompose in front of your eyes for, 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 a, lot of, for a high ticket price. And they suck so bad. Like, I am annoyed only because I, we work so hard to be perfect every night. And I watched them, and I've been a Stones fan, by the way, all my life, and saw them at the peak of their fucking life in 69, 70, 71, 72. They were probably the great, arguably, the greatest rock band on the planet Earth. And there's a DVD that ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Stones, you can watch. And I sit there and go, why are they happy? Sounding so bad when you got this now, Priest. Look what you got with Priest. KK is gone. He runs a golf company. Oh, oh, I tell you, the and now Glenn's left, they, they, and it's wonderful. And now it's a cover band, essentially. Oh. And no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yes. I don't say this. I I come from a world of cover bands. When Twisted Sister started in the bars, the cover bands that played the bars were better than the bands they covered. The reason why we were so big, the reason why Rat Race Choir and Stan Anderson, these are the bands that existed as bar bands back when we were playing in the bars. The reason why they were so good was because they were better than the bands they were copying. You guys don't even know that Zeppelin was deteriorating so badly that by 1975, you couldn't go to a Zepp concert without throwing up. They were so bad, we couldn't give tickets away to Zepp concerts, but if you came to see Zebra play Zeppelin in a bar in Long Island, you heard perfect Zeppelin. Perfect Led Zeppelin. You saw Rat Race Choir, you saw perfect Pink Floyd, you saw perfect Emerson Lake and Palmer. It really mattered. I get that. I do understand it's a cover band. And that's what a lot of these bands are. Foreigner is a complete cover band. There's nobody left in Foreigner. Twisted Sister has a credibility thing. It's called, we like to play with a band called Twisted Sister, with the guys from Twisted Sister playing Twisted Sister music for Twisted Sister fans. And if we can't do that, we're not going to do it. That's a personal choice that we made. If we do again, it will be because we all decided we wanted to do it. That's a credibility issue that we have. I can't tell you how many of the older bands we play with. I don't think that they're good. I sit there and they suck. And I go, uh, okay, they're happy to give their fans something that's not quite there. And that's the fans are buying it and accepting it. That's fine. It's below my threshold for tolerance, for perfection. Twisted Sisters has been a perfectionist band. We played thousands of shows. Every show is perfect. Every show is the last show of our life. Every show is done with the sincerity and the heartfelt desire to make sure you walk out thinking that's the best thing you're ever going to see. We may not be the best band in the world, but damn it, when you see us live playing with Maiden or any of these other bands, you're going to walk out thinking we're the best band in the world because that's what we do. And we all say this to every band we play with. Blow us away. 